While playing a game like Fortnite, you'll come across opponents who are better than you. Most players will notice this and assume they're going to lose the fight within seconds of it starting. But what if I told you that it's possible to defeat players better than you, no matter how good they are? What's up, Fortnite fam? I'm Cody, and today we are covering how to outplay your opponents who are better than you with a variety of different tips and tricks to help you absolutely destroy even the best players in every lobby. So hit that sub button and let's dive in. Let's say a random player pushes you out of nowhere. They crack your shield right off the bat, start peace controlling everything around you, they hit every shot, and it becomes obvious they're a more skilled player than you. It's easy to get nervous and think you're going to lose, but that's the worst mindset to have in a situation like this. Most of the time, if you believe you're gonna lose a fight, you will. You have to have confidence in yourself no matter how good the other player is. And I know this isn't easy, but the more you work on it and make every move with high confidence, the better you're going to fight and the higher chance you'll have at winning it. Of course, you still wanna make sure the plays you're making are smart, but a smart play with zero confidence can be worse than a bad play with high confidence. Now that you know the importance of confidence, it's time to learn about avoiding predictable plays. Usually, the better a player is, the more they'll know how to predict what their opponents are going to do. That's why it's important to be unpredictable and make plays that you know your opponent won't expect. A good example of this is if an enemy is trying to take your wall, you can act like you're going to stand still and hold it. But right as he swings his pickaxe, you can make a safe edit and get a free shotgun shot. Boom shakalaka to the face. Just make sure you hold your wall after resetting it in case he tries to claim it. An even better play here would be to open up the wall as he swings. Place a stair above him and fully box him in with the walls. This is a perfect example of an unpredictable play you can use on opponents who are better than you. You should be unpredictable with your defensive plays. You can do this by randomly changing directions in your movements, switching up your retakes, and by making sure you don't make the same edits too many times in a row. And as one more quick tip to be unpredictable, make sure you're editing as fast as possible. The faster you edit, the less time your opponent will have to predict it. But you still have to make all your edits as safe as possible too. If you make an edit that exposes you too much, your opponent will most likely get a free shot on you. If you want to go from playing enemies who are better than you to being the best of the best, you need to check out ProGuides.com. We've got masterclasses from the best pros like Clix and Mongrel, who will train you to make you go from a zero to a Fortnite hicka hicka hero, bro. This next tip for outplaying better opponents is definitely one of the most important ones, and that's counter piece control. Counter piece control is more on the defensive side of fighting, and it's just as important as normal piece control, especially against good players. It's used to claim areas around you before your opponent can take advantage of it. An example of this can be something as simple as placing a cone in your box in case your opponent takes your wall and can get as advanced as claiming every wall and cone around you while performing a retake. Of course, this isn't always necessary since it uses extra mats, but if you know your opponent is right next to you, make sure to claim everything near you before they can use it to peace control you. If you perfect this, it will be almost impossible to get peace controlled, and you will win way more fights against better players. Also, you can use this for aggressive players as well such as placing a cone under you and wall on your side while trying to claim an opponent's wall. This will allow you to escape if they try to box you in since you can edit your cone into a stair and edit out your pre-placed wall. Trying to get me, brah? Nah, I'm going to the basement. Also, if you don't already know what normal piece control is, make sure to check out our videos on it as it is extremely important to use in every fight. Another way you can increase your chances of defeating a more skilled opponent is by making your plays based off of your inventory. Let's say you have a primal shotgun and no shields, but you know the enemy has a pump shotgun. You wouldn't want to go for peaks in that situation since their shotgun does more damage from range and you have no extra heals. Meaning your best option here would be to play patient and wait for the enemy to expose themselves so you can surprise them for peace control. Or just jump in their box and hit all of your shots since it is the primal shotgun after all. I know this sounds like a huge risk, but it's actually a pretty smart play considering your circumstances since you can't heal and they can only shoot one shot at a time. 
This is only one example of the many different ways you can take advantage of your situation. But hopefully it gives you an idea of how you can use your inventory to its max potential. You can use this idea to play off your natural strengths and skill as well. A fantabulous strategy you can use to counter fast players is to spread out with multiple boxes in order to give yourself more area to work with when you're playing defensively. This is so you don't have to worry about building quicker than your opponent when they're trying to peace control you and you need another box. It's like having counter peace control already set up for you. You can also use this strategy to make a variety of different plays since you have room for more opportunities compared to what a single one by one would provide you with. This means more ways to peace control your opponent, more opportunities to get high ground, more options for quick peek shots, and anything else you can think of. In general, this makes plays a lot safer now that you'll always have another box to run to without the normal risk you face against high skilled players. Okay, Fortnite fam, it is the question of the daytime. What do you do when you come up against a player who is obviously more skilled than you? Do you try to take the fight to them anyway? Or do you try to make space and run away? Let us know in the comments below. And yes, we will read every single one. Another good thing to remember while fighting better opponents is to commit to your plays without hesitation. Of course, you don't want to make plays that you know are too risky, but if you don't trust yourself enough to commit to a good idea in a fight, you might miss the opportunity and lose the fight because of it. It's better to commit to a play that didn't work out so you can learn from it later on. This ties into confidence. Since the more you trust yourself, the more your confidence will build over time and you'll be making insane plays before you know it. After all, you don't see the pros second guessing themselves while going for a crazy play. And that's not just because they're pros. That's one of the reasons why they're pros. You have to trust your own skill and know that you can do whatever you want to do in any situation. Also, this may keep the other opponent from knowing they're better, which will definitely lower their confidence and make the fight a whole lot easier. Alrighty then, now that we know the benefits of committing to your plays, it's time to talk about patience. Make sure not to let these two run into each other. You don't want to think about going for a play and miss your chance while wondering if you are being patient enough. You just want to make sure to be patient while you're waiting for the opportunities and play ideas. Then you can go for them when you feel the time is right. An example for this is if you're in a fight and don't know what to do. So you just keep building and going for random shots without thinking. That will most likely create a never ending cycle of bad plays since you aren't thinking about them in the first place. Doing this isn't so bad if you can do it safely and look for plays while doing so. But it might be better to spread out and play slow and defensive while waiting for the right opportunity to outplay your opponent. Once you see the opportunity, that's when you go for it and fully commit. If you commit to a play and it works out, you want to make sure to keep fighting with peace control to let your opponent know you aren't afraid of them. This will usually force the opponent to fight slower and more defensive, leaving you with control of the fight, especially if you got some decent shots off on them while making the original play. This part of the fight can go on for a while since your opponent is better than you, but make sure to put everything we learned together and you should have no problem keeping your aggression on the other player. Also, don't stop playing safe while showing aggression. If you make any big mistakes against a good player, it probably won't end well. If you end up taking a heavy hit and have to play defensive, just spread out, heal up, and look for another good opportunity. Now, if you take control of the fight and get your opponent low, it's understandable if you don't know what to do. This is something I notice a lot of players struggle with. If you're low health, you should heal while they heal and continue the fight after. But if you have good health while they're low, you need to spray them as much as possible while running towards their box. Once you're close, pressure their builds as you try to claim the wall they're closest to and apply peace control. Just make sure you're not standing in a spot they can easily shoot you from. Also, you should apply counter peace control here in a case that they attempt to make an aggressive play. If they're really low and keep spreading out, your best option may be to jump into their box. This is a good play as long as you still have the good health and they're still low. An easy way you can phase through their walls is by placing a stair towards it, getting the wall one shot, and running at it as you jump and hit your head at the bottom of the stairs. If you break the wall right when your character hits it, you'll be in their box. All you have to do from there is hit the final shots on your opponent and you will win the fight.
Look, I know a lot of this may sound like a lot right now, but with a little practice, you'll be accomplishing this with ease. And if you're still looking to get better at the game, you can always check out the rest of our channel for more tips and tricks. If you found this video helpful, make sure to like the video and sub so you don't miss our uploads. That's it for today, so best of luck on the battlefield, y'all. I will see you next time. Doses. Thank <laughs> you.